Hello, welcome to the fifth quarter. We're here today uh, to talk about the Steelers' uh, disheartening 13 to 10 uh, loss to the hated Baltimore Ravens. The post mortem. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, because uh, uh, it's going to be very difficult to them, uh, for them to win the division right now. Right. And uh, based on what happened with their quarterback, because everybody is talking about Byron Leftwich and right. how he was what dinged did. up at the end of the ball game. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and and Roethlisberger is not going to be ready. Uh, there were a lot of things that happened in this game, yeah. uh, and not many of them are good for the Steelers. No, no. Uh, you know, on the plus side, though, they're in the driver's seat basically for the wild card. I mean, it's not the way you want to go into the playoffs on, uh, on the road playing a division champ. But it, as Coach uh, Tomlin would say, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Coach Cower before him would say that as well. Uh, but it was just. Um, uh, a game that was very frustrating because the defense played about as well as you, can, as you play. can play, uh, and they limited him. They, they, uh, the only thing they didn't do was two hundred yards. Yeah, the only thing they didn't do is make him turn the ball over. That's right. the only yeah, thing that yeah. happened. They, they got uh, pressure on uh, on Flacco. Uh, I don't think they sacked him. They were, yeah, late in the game. Did. They did. Late yeah. in the game, they James sacked Harrison him. Did, uh, Harrison uh, got him late in the game. And there was a play earlier in the game where Kiesel. Put a good hit on him that resulted in an incomplete pass. Right, but what what it, what happened was uh, uh, the Steelers had a couple of uh, offensive forays uh, that were hurt by penalties. Mm -hmm. uh, there were two turnovers that resulted in field goals, yeah. and then you give up. You know, and we talked about this. That you have teams like this. You know, a big play in the special teams can yeah. turn an entire ball game around, sure and did. that's exactly what happened. Sure did in this case, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, another, there are so many different points that you can look to in this game. To me, it's the third and two at the end of the third quarter uh, where they throw the fade to Mike Wallace. You know, if it's a touchdown, we're not talking about this play at all, but it wasn't. Uh, third and two from the four. You got two shots. Jonathan Dwyer was, it was establishing a, himself. It was a little puzzling at that point because earlier in the game they weren't running the ball well, but they had started to get into right. a rhythm, right. particularly with Dwyer. On, on that on that particular drive, uh, you know, Dwyer had runs of seven, eleven yards. Uh, the play right before that, between the between the ill-fated timeouts, uh, Dwyer had uh, gained eight yards on the second and ten play. So he's running the ball a little bit. You got two downs to get four yards, or two downs to get two yards really and then mm -hmm. you get a first down uh you gotta wonder how you know you gotta figure you're not going to get down that close very many more times well i figured at that point uh, i turned to the person next to me in the press box and i said it's over they're not going to get yeah. down there again. right you know? right yeah that, that was it something else that baffled me was the first play of the game you, you have bar enough which throw deep maybe catch the uh, raven little flat foot they got the pass got a 42 yard pass interference penalty not once again did they try that play. I, you know, I expected it as soon as the next possession. Well, the defense came out and stopped Baltimore three and out, punt the ball. Hey, why not try the same thing? Strike while the iron the is hot. Do? And yeah. that's his mo. He throws the deep ball, right? Uh, you know, better than he does the other passes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they they really didn't do this. So there were there were a few things that were puzzling. Um, it was just a bad loss all the way around, and mm -hmm. you know you wonder about his health coming in. I, somebody's even saying that they're talking about bringing in some quarterbacks this yeah. week to look at them. Well, if, if Byron can't play, you're going to have Charlie Batch, and then what Heath Miller? You're going to get someone else in there. Heath can do least. it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he was even laughing about that. He said they're really really going with a plow horse here at yeah. quarterback. <laughs> Heath is funny. Uh, he really yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, but. Um, I think the bigger thing is uh, the, the the talking heads on television. I guess were talking late in the game uh, that they thought Leftwich was banged up enough that they should have gone to Charlie Batch. Mm -hmm. The fact that they didn't, mm -hmm. I think, speaks volumes. It tells you a little bit about what Charlie what, may or may not have left in the tank. I think it speaks volumes. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, so uh, just for uh, do a little bit of the clerical work, the, the Ravens are now eight and two, Steelers six and four, two games behind with. Baltimore having the win in hand, so it actually puts them three games behind. That can all change, though, a week from Sunday. It can, uh, but you got to take care of business first. Right. With the Cleveland it. Browns, who let one, I mean, they've ha had several games right. this year where they've let it, but they let, they really let Dallas off the hook yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. More on that in another edition, uh, but I want to make one more point. Baltimore does travel to San Diego this uh, this coming week. Uh, could, could maybe get that game back. Well... You never know what you're going to no, get with right. San Diego. Well, not right, especially for traveling to the West Coast. Right, uh, yeah. 
and it is what it is and we'll move on from there and i'll wrap up this edition of the fifth quarter thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time when we preview the steelers at cleveland game